Here is a tour of our Trail Manor 3023 for sale. This Trail Manor is 30 feet long when open, as we see here, but when closed, it's 23 feet long and half the height. So this large Trail Manor we're looking at here fits in this garage you see behind it. Not often you can see a 30 foot trailer that fits in a normal size garage because of it shrinking down. So from the outside, I'm not going to take it down, but this whole upper roof that we are looking at here rotates down and shuts. And then this forward upper roof rotates back and shuts. And that's how this shrinks down so much in size differently than your average pop-up camper. So let's go inside and see how nice it is on the inside. So we'll start with the kitchen area. We got a kitchen sink water pump, refrigerator and stereo built in here, cabinetry on the other side, a small oven and a stove, lots of storage space, cabinetry here, large cabinet or pantry, cabinetry underneath, ring for a dish towel, thermostat for controlling the heater, above a very nice air conditioning unit so this cools down very nicely in summer so looking on this side that's at least a full-size bed on the far side so you can fit two full adults over there or several kids and we've got this kitchen or dining room table that extends out as you see here it also folds up completely behind where we're looking here so this can go completely out of the way we've got these two couches this couch turns into a twin width bed this couch here turns into another full-size bed the bottom cushion is on a platform that slides out partially into this space in the middle and turns this into another full-size bed so just on this side of the camper we're talking about at least one adult sleeping here two adults that can sleep there a shorter adult or a child that can sleep here and if we're talking younger kids many many kids could sleep in this entire area windows that all open on the outside um, new curtains and balances that we've put up lots of lights speakers and more storage on the far side over here um, vents some of which have fans in the top so now we'll go to the other side. So we've got this hallway with this stepping stool here because it's a little high up to the bed. So this is another separate queen sized bed. This one has well two windows and this curtain for privacy in this area. So this is what we consider the master bedroom. Um, I mentioned the cabinetry beneath, lighting, plugs down here. There are quite a few plugs all around for when you're plugged into electric. And then this is the bathroom. So the bathroom's not big, but it's functional. You've got a kitchen sink, or a bathroom sink. Um, you've got a toilet, and you've got a shower. Not large by any means, but you have a shower. Very rare you see a shower in a camper that can fit in a garage. Window here for ventilation. The bathroom has its own fan and vent as well. Um, and that's it. So looking here from the inside, you would never think this would be a camper that collapses and fits into a garage. But this does. It's very, very unique. It's in great shape. Um, a lot of things in here have been renovated and fixed up to be made very, very nice. And it's very, very functional. It fits, fits a lot of people in here for sleeping or hanging out. Um, and you can very safely pull it behind with a car or truck and fit it in a garage. So it's got the best of both worlds, we feel, between 
a large camper, which it turns into on the inside and shrinks down like a pop-up camper to fit in a garage and tow behind a car more safely than a big RV.